What's up guys, SJ here, back with another video. It's been such a long time since I've seen you guys, or, you know, basically since I posted. Well, the reason is, is because I was having so much technical difficulties lately. First of all, my freaking screen recorder is currently not working right now, which freaking does suck because I can't record any class videos. So my original plan was to have a bunch of really awesome epic raids play around in the background, but that is not possible right now. So uh, I, I'm, I just had to change the plans and doing a little bit different Q&A uh, than I planned. But I hopefully this does work out pretty well. So right now, as you can see, uh, I am just, uh, not in the video template. I'm just talking to you guys like this, but hopefully I can make it entertaining uh, Even though I don't have fun awesome epic raids playing around in the background And I uh, hopefully I get to answer your questions in a really really fun way So let's just go ahead and get straight to the Q&A first two questions asked by Cody Payton and Arctic Clash HD the reason I'm saying both of them at the same time is because both of their questions were very similar What inspired you to do YouTube? And why? Well, the inspiration for YouTube, like really, like my very, very first inspiration, believe it or not, is the tech community on YouTube. Yes, not the gaming community. I do mean the tech community. Well, if you're wondering, why is that? Why is it the tech community instead of the gaming community, despite the fact that I am mostly a gaming channel? Well, you see, when I was when I first started looking at YouTube, it was before Google bought YouTube, and that's a pretty long time ago. I was really young at that age, and I just started watching YouTube videos. And then at around 2008, that's when a bunch of professional quality content videos were being started to uploaded to YouTube by all these tech YouTubers in this tech community type thing. Well, that really got me into it. So from there, I started watching a bunch of their videos. And I was like, hey, I can do that. That's really cool. It seems like a lot of fun. So I started making my own tech videos, not on this channel. It was a different channel. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. It's so embarrassing, but maybe I can, can reveal it. But yeah, so I started doing that and I started making little really low quality tech videos mostly. But then, you know, I did make videos and I made tech videos and that's what inspired me to start YouTube. But then I, I wanted, and then I found out that I sort of liked gaming once I found out about um, StarCraft, StarCraft, the very first one, and stuff like that. Um, hopefully the camera is focused right now, not the best camera because, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I started um, making gaming videos, but then I realized that my computer is not very good to make gaming videos. So I started uh, making mobile gaming videos using my Nexus 7 and that kind of stuff. So yeah, so I got a screen recorder, which was pretty cool when I first started and I started making videos. And yeah, so the tech community is originally what did inspire me to do YouTube. And uh, those are the following reasons of why. Hopefully that answered your question. Ask the Liliolo asks, who supported you the most? Well, to be honest, not really anybody supported me through YouTube. My uh, parents aren't that supportive of YouTube. Um, and if you're wondering, then how do you make 1080p quality gaming videos? I mean, there should have been money gone into that. Well, guys, it, I do make it look like I have really expensive gadgets. Um, I make 1080p videos, really cool thumbnails in my opinion, but to be honest, my computer is a very old, old computer that has an Intel Duo. And uh, my camera cannot shoot 1080p quality. That's why my face is always really small, except for this camera, which can shoot 1080p quality videos, which I don't really use much because the files tend to be gigantic. And um, all the video templates are done by Photoshop, and my editing software is I got for free uh, through Torrent. Not gonna get into too detail about it. I do. I do believe I have a tutorial on how to use Torrent. Really old tutorial, but I, that should help you guys out if you're interested in getting free stuff. But yeah, so not really anybody. Um, yeah, so I think you know. I do have a friend named Z the Dark Hero. I didn't mention him in. Um, a couple of my old videos, he did sort of get me started, tell me a bunch of information. So yeah, I guess Z the Dark Hero sort of did, but then he doesn't want my channel to grow. But 
you know, that's basically it of who supported me, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully I answered your question. Kyle Maple asks, how long do you plan to do YouTube? Forever. Um, even if I go to college or something, I'm just continue to do YouTube. My channel could change. It might not be a gaming channel anymore in the future, but I'm doing YouTube forever. It's it's not to get money, guys. Really, it's really just because I'm really having fun. So yeah, definitely I'm going to do YouTube for a while. The name's Rovi asks, what got you into gaming and why? Well, as I said before in the previous questions, well, sort of, um, is, you know, I just discovered that I enjoy gaming and I don't really consider myself a real gamer. I'm more of a mobile gamer. Uh, I'm not like a hardcore gamer that plays all these graphic intense gaming and stuff. But yes, what got me into gaming? All the programming, especially StarCraft 1. And when I found out you could record your screen and all that kind of good stuff. And eventually what got me into Clash videos though is noteworthy games, gaming with Molt and all those kind of stuff. And what got me into graphic designing is myself because I really enjoy it. Jason Jung asks, will you do base reviews and will you get sponsored like a bunch of other YouTubers? Well, let's first get the base reviews out. Yes, I'm definitely going to be doing a base review once I get my screen recorder on my Nexus 7 fixed. And about sponsorships, I actually do currently qualify for a sponsorship network I am partnered with, which is Freedom Networks. Currently is offering me a sponsorship, but I am holding back on those because I don't want to look like I'm a guy that just wants to make money, money on this channel, advertise products. I don't think you guys are going to like that. But if you guys do want some awesome sort of... Uh, referral codes that could get you discounts on certain gaming products and stuff. Tell me in the comments below. But for now, no. But if you guys want want me to do sponsorships and provide you with a bunch of awesome coupon links, I will. But no, currently I'm not, and I have no plans to do sponsorships just now, or maybe maybe if my channel gets bigger, but not for now. Cody Payton asks once again. Thank you for asking another question. Since you did a Q and A for 100 subscribers. What are you doing for a thousand subscribers? Well, my next milestone might necessarily not be a thousand subscribers, but if considering the fact that he means my next milestone, possibly a giveaway, I haven't really decided yet and what I am going to be doing, but hopefully something awesome, something more cool than a q and I'm just doing a QA and a for 100 subs because I want you guys to know me better and stuff like that and know who you're watching. Yeah. So guys, I think that concludes the Q&A for today. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks to every one of you guys that asked me a question and making this Q&A possible. I will be back with Clash videos. Hopefully my screen recorder gets working. I'm still working with the developers that developed this stupid screen recorder. Can't find a better solution for now. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to be doing some really awesome stuff or a substitute of it. So again, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got to learn a little bit more about myself. And uh, also, if you go to my channel homepage, there's a brand new banner. It was designed by Derek T. He drew it for me. He's a really awesome guy. Check out his channel. I believe I did mention before. Just go to YouTube.com and search Derek T. Um, name is on the screen right here. So, yeah, guys, be sure to go and check out Derek. He's a really awesome graphic artist. And, yeah, guys, I think I will catch you guys next time, next video, same place. Yeah, you get the point. Peace.